Hello everybody and welcome along to episode 21 of Grand Theft Auto Story Mode. Thank you very much for joining us. I hope you're all well, fine and dandy. And in today's episode, I think we should go ahead and focus on the quick side mission of Lester. Yes, in the end of the last episode, we had a text message asking for him to meet us here. So I think we should go ahead and make our way over to Lester, who's, I think, actually sat over on that chair. Is he? No, he's not. We've got to uh, initialize it this way, have we? Fantastic. Do no beach calf. Hmm. All right, let's listen to what he's got to have to say, and we'll get uh, straight to the thick of it, hopefully. What's up, man? Sit down and face forward. Now, I don't have a lot of time. I know you need money. Did Michael tell you about Life Invader? Oh shit, y'all two did that? Look forward. We're two strangers having a friendly chat. And don't pretend that you like Jane Norris. Oh man, I don't know, homie. I mean, yeah, the dude outsourced work to child slave. Then stole and sold everybody's private information. And even ripped his own friend's ideas off and walked around like the Messiah while doing it, but... Man, I don't think the nigga deserved to have his fucking head blowed off on TV. Oh, well, aren't you just a moral majority? You know, that's why the world is the way it is today, when a paid thug gets all namby-pamby when someone asks him to act like a paid thug and for a good cause. Man, check this out, homie. I like blowing motherfucking fool's heads off just as much as the next psychotic asshole. But I just don't look at the shit as doing a good deed. Well, now you can, because it's not fool's heads, it's asshole's heads. And not just heads, you know, trashing cars or planning lies, forging evidence, anything we can do to take the battle back to these turds. You know, we'll fix the market in our favor and we'll right a few wrongs while we're at it. <laughs> Shit, okay, cool. Right, so, you heard of Mollus? Hell yeah. Okay, so there's a new Mollus, sort of a super Mollus, and it's called Priapold, and it's giving the living rigor mortis. Only Brett Lowry, CEO of Bilkington Research, paid off the FDA, and he doesn't care that his hardness pills are giving desperate middle-aged men the world over heart attacks. Damn, man, that sucks. Yeah, it does. Now, Mr. Greedy Lowry is staying at the Von Krastenberg Hotel in Richmond. Of course, he'll be well protected, but if he goes away, then America goes back to using Mollus, and Beta Pharmaceuticals gets a big bump in the price of their stock. Damn, man, all right, fuck it, I got you. I thought that you would. Now, consider using a sniper rifle or sticky bomb, you know, whatever. Do it your way, however you want. I'm gonna make the investment. We don't speak about this or anything. Now walk away, and I'll stay here till you're gone. My god, the weather is actually turned for the worse. It's terrible. We started off the episode no more than three minutes ago. And look at the weather now. It's gone awful. I hope you enjoy the new colours I've put on this car. I thought I'd go for a suspicious looking orange and, well, quite a weird looking blue as well for the underlighting. I think we'll uh, only keep that until we've done the highs to perhaps change, Ooh, change the colours again. I'm not too sure on it, to be honest with you, but hey-ho, there you go. Oh my god. Oof. Right, so it's asked us to use a sniper rifle or sticky bomb for this mission. So this is the hotel where you can actually make quite a bit of money. Um, I'm going to walk you through it another episode, I think. But uh, for a quick kind of heads up, you want to go into the stock market kind of now and invest all your money in beta pharmaceutical wait about three or four days after you've done this mission and then take all your money out of beta pharmaceuticals because the money would have risen back then and you should make a tasty three hundred thousand pound you can make even more money uh, later on with the side missions of Leicester's, but it's highly advisable not to do it until you've done the very, very last heist on the story mode, and that way you should get about £2.1 billion. Pounds. Okay, so we're now in position for assassinating our target. I think I'm going to go ahead and cut that little bit that we did in between because, well, it was quite rubbish. As you can see, I've got a police car. Uh, this is due to the mods that I've put in for the game for when LSPDFR is back up and running. You can see it's normally supposed to be a undercover Granger, but it's not today. That caused a little bit of a problem. It's now my third go trying this. 
I realised that uh, once I get in the car, you cannot see through the windows in this modded car, which normally how I would take it out, uh, which I've done before. They've got into the car and I've been able to shoot him through the glass and he's died in the car. However, this modded car does have bulletproof windows and blacked out windows. So unfortunately, you can't get through once he's in the car and it's almost impossible to chase them down. So I don't have any sticky bombs on me. So I thought I would go ahead and cut that little bit out. So let's see if we can go ahead and do this. This is third time now that we're trying this. Uh, where are they coming from? They've got in the car. Uh, is that till they leave or? Right, assassinate. Ah, right, okay. That's it, he's out. Groinal shot. That's got to be a game over for this man. That's got to have hit the feble archery. He's now bleeding out. There's no point getting an ambulance. Oh my god. Oh my god. My poor car is getting peppered with gunshots and we need to get out of here rather fast. Uh, right, lose the cops. Yeah, we definitely need to do that. I think we need to do a bit of Franklin time. It's like the old... Ooh. I thought that police cop was going to go into the side of me. That would have been game over there. At the... Damn it. Oh, God. My car has taken an absolute beating. Uh, my theory is paint it in a garish colour, this car. Make it stand out. And then after this mission, hopefully we can repaint it if we ever get to lose these cops into a normal mundane colour so although it's the same model car it is definitely a different looking car hopefully fingers crossed there's the Mini Cooper there on the left we are making oh my god oh wow even in the Franklin slow down time I could not turn there Jesus Christ oh my god uh, I'm not going to go through the movie lot just yet because that can actually attract police Oh no! Security guards. E oh, Jesus. Security guards even know that I wanted on the doorstep. I thought I could have hid there and laid low. But this could work out to be alright if we slow down a bit. Especially since there's a police car in front. We can go around here and just keep a look. Oh, there's one in front. He's going to spot us. Come on. Oh, this car didn't want to turn. Should have really done Franklin time there. They're kind of back where we started, really. It's the last place they're going to look for us, isn't it? Taking on one big loop. This is looking promising. Oh my god, police. Oh, they went. Oof, I don't know if that was a glitch there, but a police just. Oh no, I didn't get the checkpoint. Well, that's not surprising, considering that was my third time trying that. Go. We've got 244,000 pound. I didn't get much for doing that mission, but you'll get a lot if you do the hey, stock done. exchange. I know. Good work. All right. Well, she. Let me know about the next thing. We'll do. Uh, but before that, I've got to tell you something. Our investment portfolio is getting a little uh, successful, so Ooh. I figured we needed some tangible assets, some new property. So we bought a house in the Vinewood Hills. Yeah, sure, man. Whatever. You know best about this shit. And we needed someone to live there you know, for tax purposes, so. Some guys are moving your stuff in. Oh, shit. <laughs> Meaning I don't have to live with my crazy-ass aunt no more? Man, I don't know what the fuck to say, dawg. Don't say anything, especially if a man in a suit comes to the door. Ah, I'm joking. That probably isn't going to happen. It's yours. Enjoy it. 3671 Wispy Mound Drive. Wow. We finally did it, guys. We got ourselves our own pad. So, as I said before... A few minutes ago I think we should go ahead and change the look of our car we certainly needed to fix it that's for sure uh, right so we're going to change the color uh, I don't know Ooh, that's <laughs> quite different isn't it not quite sure what color we should go for to be honest uh, certainly not pink I don't think it's not going to do our street cred much good well that's not too bad a galaxy blue we have to f change the Wheel colours, oh, I don't like blue and blue. Um, should we start with that? Uh, secondary colour, we need to match the secondary colour in this. 
it's like a black or white shark, it'd be pretty cool. But I think if we match it, then we can go into a pearlescent and just give it a little kind of edgy look. Um, just turn the camera around here so that we can see a bit better. There we go. Ooh. That's a bit too red. It's supposed to be galaxy blue, but it's mainly red, so I'm not sure about that. Oh, I like that. That's nice. Oh, I like that. Uh, we need to change our wheels. Um, no, I want midnight purple. Oop. There we go. And the lighting as well underneath it doesn't need to be that anymore. What should we have it? Should we have any at all? Ooh, hot pink. <laughs> nah. Oh, white doesn't. Yeah, white's all right actually. Let's go for that. Right, I think we should go ahead and get ourselves over to our apartment. Look at that. That looks much better. Oh shit, we still got the blue smoke. Oh, that was silly. Oh, I can't be bothered to go back now. Let's move our house. Well, we're not moving the house, we're moving into our house, should we say. This is all very exciting for Franklin. A bit of in, oh my god. Oh dear. A bit of independence for Franklin. So that's pretty good for him. He'd have to live with his crazy ass aunt, as he calls her. And it's not too shabby a place we live in. It's kind of a millionaire's mansion, really. Just get past all this traffic. There we go. We've got hard right coming now, so I better slow down. Always confuses me, this hard right. I always end up going into that person's drive. I take it a bit too early sometimes. But I'm a bit thick, so, you know, it's allowed. Uh, we've got a hard left now. Wee, where we go? Whoa! <laughs> Little uh, tank slapper right there in someone's garbage. It's not brilliant. Here we go. We're almost there now. I tell you, it's a hill I certainly wouldn't want to climb, that's for sure. It is very steep. I've thankfully got a very powerful car to get up this hill. And look, our bike is already there. That's amazing. Brilliant. The removal firms certainly do deserve a pat on the back. They have moved in everything, hopefully. Fingers crossed they haven't broken anything. They've got a nice bit of ivy on the wall there. Lovely, I do like a bit of plant. So we'll go ahead and put our car in lock-up storage. Hopefully it fixes the dented front bumper that we did hit. And we're going to put our gun away as well. No guns in the house. Oh, look at it. Look at it. It's all ours. Let's have a quick look. Make sure we've definitely got a downstairs. Oh, yes. That's downstairs. Which is weird, because our bedroom's downstairs. <laughs> so, it's kind of a, an upside-down house, I suppose you could say. Uh, wow, look at that. That is our permanent view. We're going to be living here forever. I'm sure of it. Our boxes are still here. We need to unpack a few certain things, I think. And would you just take a look at that view? That is simply spectacular. We own that view. That's amazing. Wow. So, guys, I think that is it for this episode today. I know it's short and sweet, but I think we'll go ahead and do the Merryweather heist in the next episode. So, thank you very much for joining us today. I hope you've had a fun time watching. You take care. Until then, I'll see you soon. Goodbye.